In our southern New England spotlight tonight, a new book is out by a familiar name here in Rhode Island. Arlene Violet. It's about the witness protection program that started here in Rhode Island, actually. And today, the author herself came in to speak with us about it. And I've always admired John. Arlene Violet is speaking about John Partington. He started the witness protection program for the United States of America right here, began in Rhode Island. This new book by Arlene is really about Partington's life, his interactions with the mob, and the origins of the witness protection program. How was this as far as the research end of it goes? You have to boil it down all to a book, uh, well, right? Well, that's true. That's the, the, the most difficult part. But John had incredible notes uh, in his files, just like all cops, constables on patrol. He would write it, oh, 800, such and such a thing happened. So by just reading his logs, etc., the story was all there as well. Arlene tells us that writing this book, The Mob and Me, was in essence an experience of revisiting her days as Attorney General. These mobs have, guys have sticking power, and they would be still around 20 years later getting out of jail, etc. John Partington died in 2006. He served as Commissioner of Public Safety in Providence, in addition to developing the Witness Protection Program, which required skill, as Arlene will explain, patience, courage, and at times, resourcefulness. But one time he came to me because he wanted to use a convent in Cumberland, Rhode Island as one of these safe house houses for these notorious gangsters, which uh, we agreed to do and let him use that uh, convent for that purpose. And throughout the years, we became close. And so I'm uh, guessing some of the universal themes in the book are courage, courage commitment. Commitment, uh, smarts versus smarts. It's really like a giant chess game of the smart mob guys <laughs> versus John Pottington and how he had to play chess with them uh, because that, it was a chess game. He had to protect them, had to get them in uh, to court to testify against even worse mob guys in a total zone of danger all the time. And that book is on sale now, and it's already been selling out, we've been told, at some local bookstores. If you have an idea for a person or a place or a business that you'd like to see in the Southern New England Spotlight, it's very easy. Just head on over to our website at turn2ten.com and use the keyword Spotlight.